Hello, I am back with kind of my aftercare um, video, which is very simple. This is going to be very brief. Um, I have recently taken off a full manicure. I haven't even, as you can see, done any buffing. I haven't done any shaping. I'm actually going to do a cut down because my nails are getting a little too long to handle for me. Um, so I know a lot of people have asked me kind of what do I do after I take a manicure off. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and share that with you today. First, I definitely make sure that I go in and push my cuticles back. And there will always be a little bit of like, you see this white kind of residue-y sort of stuff where your cuticle has grown up during the process. And so I always make sure I do that. And I just do that dry. But I make sure that I don't put a lot of, you know, pressure onto the nail. I'm very gentle and that's one thing that I like about the sensation nail removal tool which I'm using right here um, is because with the angled head it kind of forces you to remain gentle because it's harder to press down so I would encourage those of you who are kind of just starting out to definitely use this tool um, or if you're just a person who's a little more heavy heavy handed you'll find that this tool helps to keep you from pressing down too hard so I push my cuticles back. Get whatever little residue or cuticle um, that may have grown up. Get that pushed back. Then I use a buffer and this one is 100 and 180 grit. So I want something that's going to pretty much just kind of smooth things out. I don't want anything that's going to be really, really rough um, onto the nail. And this one I've actually used quite a bit. Um, so it doesn't have a whole, whole lot of grit still left on it. Um, but it's more, you could even kind of use something that's closer to the texture of a smoothing block. But I just go around the edges and get all of that residue and skin buffed out any ridges if you have them I fortunately do not suffer with ridges I do suffer with very thin nails but I don't suffer with ridges very much so I don't have to do very much buffing it's just right around the area of the cuticle Last but not least, I use uh, C and D's solar oil. Um, if you do not have solar oil, solar oil. Um, if you want to just use uh, an African six oil, or you know, just some sort of oil that you can put onto your nails to moisturize them, anything that you would like to use is fine. This was actually given to me as a gift, um, so I do use this um, because it just saves me from using the African oil. I do my cuticle as well as the nail itself. That is just what I do. I don't know whether you're supposed to do that or not, but I try to put moisture back into the entire nail bed. Okay. And I rub that in. Then I go wash my hands, um, and that usually, once I come back, my nails look, you know, very healthy. Um, they're well moisturized. That moisture has, has gotten down into the nail bed, and I don't have any other issues with my nails. So if you can see, if you come up on them here, you'll see that my nails don't show any damage. No ridges, no dents, no damage that you would normally see with acrylic. So this is why... Uh, gel manicures are right now my preference for nail care. If you have any questions, comment down below, and I will be back with a manicure soon. Take care.